Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin this second introductory lecture with an obvious statement, namely that, um, that the advances and discoveries that have been permitted by quantum mechanics throughout the 20th century are simply astonishing, are beyond belief. I have written uh, several times in my works that uh, quantum mechanics has a majestic uh, axiomatic structure and an impressive body of experimental uh, verification. I would like to add that as a personal note that, uh, that the discovery, the construction and the verification of quantum mechanics is, uh, is simply um, incredible because an entire body <coughs> of new knowledge has been built by the master of the 20th century, such as Heisenberg, Schrodinger, Bohr, and so many others, that, uh, the, um, that they build a new mathematical structure, a complementary, compatible uh, me um, mechanics, uh, new experimental setups. All this construction has been, set, uh, has been uh, discovered by the human mind for something that we will never see, the atomic structure. And this is simply unbelievable. And then when you see the experimental verification, uh, then, uh, then everybody remains astonished. This has been the only word I can use when I discover all this during my PhD stu studies at the University of Torino back in the um, early 1960s. Very well. I shall also mention that, uh, the, the, that, uh, that, that this lecture and this title should be elaborated. We are, um, I'm more technical, I am referring to the limitations of the 20th century mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics and not to the axioms of quantum mechanics that again they are majestic in my view. In fact the, the covering hadronic mechanics has been by conception and technical implementation has been based on the axiom of quantum mechanics, in, of course, in an abstract formulation. And we have merely <laughs> replaced the 20th century mathematics of quantum mechanics with a broader mathematics verifying, however, the same axiom in a different ways. Ladies and gentlemen, when there are limitations in physics, in the 99% of the cases that I know, those limitations refer to the mathematics. Rarely the physics uh, takes part. This will be systematically the case uh, throughout um, this lecture because it will be the same for interior problem, the same for antimatter, the same of interior gravitation, etc., etc. The mathematics used in the 20th century uh, is insufficient for addressing these uh, rather complex uh, conditions of, of nature. So, the, but after having said um, all this, the, the, um, it is set in history, as it has been also recalled by the by, by, by our chairman, uh, John Pace, that all physical theories have limitations. So there are conditions under which they are exactly valid, but there are broader conditions in, in under which they are merely approximately valid. And in general, there are further more complex conditions in which uh, the, the uh, 20th century theories are inapplicable. Namely, they don't provide, they provide no quantitative results. This is uh, the, 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 the study of those three possibilities is the main objective of, um, of this lecture. But before starting, I would like to make, an, um, uh, to make the following comment that uh, out of my lecturing around the world, uh, for this particular lecture, I have selected in the introductory part, as you may have seen, the atomium in Brussels. Why the atomium? Well, because the, the atomium symb symbolizes the apotheosis of quantum uh, mechanics. Just the sheer size of the, of the atomium is an, um, is, a, is an appropriate illustration of the dimension of quantum mechanics in history. Keep in mind throughout this lecture that, uh, that um, we maintain the axiom of quantum mechanics. We are only talking about realization. Okay, with this understanding, let's, uh, let's uh, start uh, the lecture. So, um, First of all, let's see at the mathematical structure of quantum mechanics, because again, the mathematics sets the conditions of applicability and those of only approximate character. The mathematics is well known, only it is not uh, properly addressed and identified in uh, PhD courses because of unfortunate 
organized interest on uh, Einstein's special relativity and relativistic quantum mechanics that have to be denounced because they usually oppose um, the, the, the content of this lecture. They have opposed through decades, as it is well known in any case. They oppose not via, via technical objections published in referee journals, no. They oppose it via manipulation, abuse of academic authority, all performed under public, generally under public financial support. This type of behavior is not scientific and has to be denounced. Otherwise, I become an accomplice, something it will never happen for me. Why such strong words? Ladies and gentlemen, because what I have, um, the lecture that I initiate today has very deep implications for our little planet. As it is known to everybody, we, um, we are now uh, experiencing increasingly alarming environmental problems. The only solutions of those problems is to discover basically new and clean uh, fuels and energies. This is well known. Now, what is also well known but not spoken, and I don't want to be part of that silence, is that all energy and fuels that, that, um, that could be conceived by Einstein's special relativity and quantum mechanics were all fully known by the middle of the past century. And they resulted all in being environmentally unacceptable, either because of the release of um, uh, harmful radiation or because of the release of radioactive waste. So therefore, the surpassing of quantum mechanics, the surpassing of Einstein's special relativity is mandatory for the very survival of our society, for the very survival of our little planet navigating in this vast uh, universe. So therefore, any non-technical obstruction, objection, and that is any objection which is not published in referee journals, uh, which uh, therefore is political, must be denounced. Otherwise, this uh, due scientific process in the discovery and the develop of new <coughs> and, um, and the development of new clean energy will never acquire a, a sufficiently large uh, collegial participation. Finally, it should be indicated that, that um, this process of uh, the for conceiving, formulating, testing and developing new clean energy and fuel has already been developed. That's why it took 50 years uh, to, um, to present to reach the level of this uh, world lecture series. And this available has been published in referee journal. To understand them, however, you have to go through level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and finally level 5, which is the experimental and the industrial side. So therefore, to colleagues who are uh, very quick in expressing uh, um, uh, uh, obstruction and opposition, just keep in mind that by doing so, you oppose the due scientific process for new clean fuels and energy. That's what it is. And that's what has to be stated. Very well. After a clear understanding that the objection to this lecture have to be published in referee journal rather than voiced in academic corridors, okay, then let's look at, the, let's begin uh, the lecture. Let's have a review again the obvious, the mathematical structure of quantum mechanics, but review it from a critical viewpoint, not with an applaudatory viewpoint. The, um, first of all, the mathematics underlying quantum mechanics is linear. It is well known, taught the first year graduate student. It is based on the theory of linear operator on a Hilbert space. The validity of this theory for numerous uh, systems in nature is beyond doubt. This is not the issue here. The, the, um, however, the issue is that the, any belief that the entire universe can be described with a linear theory, ladies and gentlemen, is corruption and has to be denounced as such because it's against the pursuit of new knowledge, period. And I want to be on record with those words because if you use nice words to, deny, to, um, to, to describe political, political handling of science, this may appear complicity to a number of serious scholars.